Today I'll be showing you how to navigate the Arcules portal and give you a quick overview of its features and functionalities. The navigation bar on the left takes you to the different sections of the portal. Access to each of the sections can be customized based on the permissions granted to you by your administrator. For the purposes of this demo, I will go through the different sections from top to bottom. When you first log into the portal, you will be presented with your dashboard. The dashboard allows you to see your metrics in one place with a fully customizable layout and the ability to mix and match widgets. Some of the available widgets are health summary, notifications, cloud analytics, and if you have access control configured, there is a widget that will allow you to monitor doors and grant access. Adding additional widgets is as simple as clicking on the Add a Widget button and selecting from the list of widgets. The Views page allows you to view live and recorded video from your cameras. You can browse all of your cameras by clicking here, create a new customized view by clicking the blue plus sign, or select one of the views that have already been created. Recorded video can be viewed a single camera at a time by clicking the playback button, or synced across up to four cameras by clicking the sync playback button. The scrub bar can be navigated by clicking and dragging your mouse, and you can zoom in and out of the scrub bar by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you need to export video, video from all four cameras can be exported into what we call a case by clicking the Export All button. Enter the requested information and either create a new case or add the export to an existing case. I will talk more about cases in the next section. If you need to search for specific events, people, or vehicles, you can use the video search feature, which uses thumbnails to quickly get you to the video you need to see. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a time and date to give you an example of how this works. You can see the skeleton is sitting in the gray chair at 2.38 p.m., but by 3.33 p.m., it is sitting in the red chair. By looking at the thumbnails, we know that the skeleton was moved sometime between 3.22 and 3.33. I can either click play to see how the event unfolds, or I can click here to expand and see the thumbnails between the two frames. If you need to export this video to a case, you can do that directly from this interface. Multiple clips from multiple cameras can be added to a case, and cases can be shared with users that have been created within your organization. Video that has been exported as a case will live in the cloud indefinitely and can only be deleted if an authorized user manually deletes it. This video can also be downloaded with the digital watermark and can be played back in your preferred media player. The Sites page shows your organizational structure. The organization is the top-level business entity. One organization can have many sites, and one site can have many locations. A site is a logical grouping of location, and each location is a physical location with an address. The locations are presented to you in list format here on the left, or displayed graphically on a map. If you hover over each location on the map, it will give you a quick health status and tell you whether or not your devices are online. In order to see the devices that have been configured for each location, you can either click on the location name or click on the devices icon in the navigation bar to see the devices for the entire organization. Devices are cameras, gateways, access control doors, and IoT devices. 
This section will allow you to configure these devices. As an example, when you click on a camera, you'll have the ability to change your storage options, enable and configure edge and cloud analytics, as well as do basic network configuration, network diagnostics without having to leave the portal. You can also adjust basic and advanced camera settings, motion detection settings, and the camera recording schedule. If you click on an IoT device, which in this case is a Halo smart sensor, you can associate cameras with the sensor and enable the analytics for this device. You can also import floor plans and drag and drop devices to their physical locations on the floor plan. If you hover over a camera, you will get a thumbnail view of that camera. If you need to add new devices, simply click the blue plus sign and select the device type you would like to add. Creating rules can be done one of two ways. The first is directly from the device. If I go back to the Halo sensor and click on the Analytics tab, I can create rules based off any of the listed analytics. Since I'm creating this rule from the device, a lot of the fields will already be populated. I'm going to specify this value, select a schedule, Now I need to tell the system what to do when this rule is triggered. I can either send a notification, trigger an alarm, trigger an I.O. device, or start recording video. I'm going to select send a notification, so I'll need to select who will receive the notifications, select a priority, and I can also include a custom message to go along with the notification. Another way to create a rule is to click on the rules icon in the navigation bar and click the blue plus sign. Give the rule a name and a description. Select the site and location. Select which device you want to create a rule for. I'm going to select the gateway. Select the device. Select what you're monitoring for. Again, select a schedule and then select your action. I'm going to go ahead and select trigger an alarm. I'll assign it a priority. Again, send uh, select who this alarm will go to. Include a protocol if necessary, and then you can choose whether or not to send a notification along with the alarm. To review the alarms, click the alarm icon in the navigation bar. Alarm management allows you to enforce a workflow to review security incidents or other events of interest across your locations. An alarm is an event that requires action. It must be reviewed and closed by someone. You can filter the alarm inbox by status, and by time range. To review an alarm, select the alarm of interest from the list on the left. All of the associated data for this alarm, including video clip of the incident and live video from that camera will be displayed. To take charge of an alarm, click on the assign to me button. If necessary, add comments to the alarm as you are reviewing it and either click complete or mark it as false. From the people page, you can add, remove, or edit a user or group. You can create a new user by clicking on the blue plus sign. You will be asked to provide a first name, a last name, and an email address. 
Once the user has been created, you can assign the user roles and site location access, and you can also assign building access levels for access control. Alternatively, you can create groups, assign them roles, site and location access, and building access, and then assign users to those groups. Now jumping over to the access control page. We are natively compatible with the Access Communications 1001 and 1601 network door controllers. From within the Arcules portal, you can assign cameras to doors, grant access, and set access modes and schedules. You can specify card formats, create schedules and holidays, or create and edit access levels. Lastly, you can display every event that has been generated by the access control system. These events can be filtered by date and time, site and location, and card holder, device, or event. These events can also be downloaded in CSV format. The settings page provides additional information, including details on your subscription, as well as our legal compliance. There is also a section for enabling and configuring single sign-on, as well as a link to our knowledge base article on setting up SSO for your organization. We also provide download links for our third-party plugins, as well as links to download our mobile apps on Google Play and the App Store. You can perform basic network diagnostics from here without having to leave the portal and also access all the logs that have been generated by the system. The logs can be filtered by date and time and source or object and can be downloaded in CSV format. Lastly, if you click on the blue chat bubble, it will connect you directly to our technical support group via chat and will give you an estimated wait time. You can also access all of our knowledge base articles from here. For example, if you needed help setting up access control, you could simply type in access control and it will show you all of the articles related to that topic.